StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another edition of Midrank Madness. This is a game between Smokenham and Angry Midget on Valvani Research Station. In the bottom side of the map, we have the Red Terran player. It is Smokenham, representing Florage? Florage? Something like that, maybe? And in the top side of the map, we have the Blue Terran player. It is Angry Midget from INGT. We've seen this cow before! Cow with the sunglasses and the SC necklace, that is rad. That is the coolest cow I've ever seen in my entire life. Look how cool he is. Maybe she, oh, it's a she, because it's a cow. How cool she is. Derp, not a bull, it's a cow. I understand how farm animal stuff works. I've I've lived in Idaho for a little bit. <laughs> okay, so it's a TVT diamond level game sent to me at falconpaladin at gmail.com with the subject of mid-rank madness. If you'd like to get your replays featured here as well, you can do so. By sending it to that address with that subject, I'll get them to my screeners. The best ones will get chosen and cast, and everybody will enjoy a good Midrank Madness two times a week instead of one, as it has been in the past. Alrighty, both players are going barracks first here. See a refinery coming in from our blue player, Angry Midget. Double refinery opening, actually, from Angry Midget. What? And no refinery opening from our friend Smokenham. Or is it Smokenham, right? So it's British. It's like a, it's a borough or something. Smokenham. Actually going barracks into command center. There it is. There's the first command center. Well, not first command center, but pretty early expand, actually. From smoking him. One base in it, though, all day is Angry Midget. Has that second refinery up, immediately saturating it. Whatever he's planning, it involves something that's pretty gas-heavy. I mean, this looks all the world to me like a Banshee opening. This is kind of how it works, the double refinery opening. Going for a factory here pretty soon. Although expanding, too. Hmm, you don't need that expansion... For the Banshee play, maybe this is Battle Cruiser. Maybe he needs the extra two extractors, not extractors, uh, refineries to make this thing work. Oh, but Smokin' him has no. You want to expand here? Uh-uh. Reaper on the way from Angry Midget, though, to save it. Oh, no, he gets it down. He gets it down even with the harassment from the SCV. No, get there, there. Save Reaper, come on. Where's our Reaper? No, 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 no. Save your dude. All right, Reaper's going down from some harassment. This Reaper's name is Barry B. Reaper. After not getting his report card of all bees, Barry decided to go Reaper suit. Uh, Reaper suit. Decides to Reaper suit up. That's what it is. Decides to Reaper suit up and go hunting some Zerg. Okay. Barry B. Reaper, what you got here? Did this guy actually kill an SCV? He did. He actually killed that SCV. Uh, all right, Barry B. Reaper. Time for some revenge, man. Barry B. Reaper, not hunting Zerg, but hunting Terran instead. It gets the re it gets the aggression out. Regardless, all these SCVs pulled off a lot of lost mining time there for smoking them. And two Marines. I don't know if two Marines is enough to kill this Reaper, depending on the KD-8 charge usage. Run. Run away. I guess if you're running the whole time and not actually attacking, it's a bad thing. SCV chasing this murderous SCV all the way home. Red SCV there. KD-8 charge being dodged. Coming down. Do you have a kill, though? No? Oh, Barry B. Reaper does not have a kill. Barry B. Oh, there's nowhere to go. Oh, shoot. Are you trapped? Oh, he's getting hemmed in by these Marines. And KD-8 charge knocking the marine but he dead he dead Barry B Reaper zero zero kills for you but pretty good scout seeing exactly what is going seeing everything actually that was here from our red players smoking them meanwhile back in blue land we have a factory we have a starport okay so just kind of one 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 it here with the command center destiny cloud fist strike build marines coming in I love how cool these marines look I really do in this latest patch it's absolutely astounding how much of a difference this little reskin makes I mean, not when they're fighting. Like, I don't notice this when big battles are happening. But in this early game, it's kind of interesting to look at for sure. Cyclone coming up for Angry Midget as well. Tanks and Marines, the order of the day for smoking them. Smoking ham. I'm trying to decide if it's like a smoking ham kind of a thing, which is kind of delicious. Like, smoked ham is nice. Uh, but smoking them also kind of sounds like uh, Birmingham or something along those lines. Perhaps, perhaps a, a British StarCraft II player. I've heard of one of two of those in the past. So he's into Muslim British? I think he is. I'm pretty sure that's the case anyway. So Barracks, 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 Factory Starport here from our friend Smoking Him. Nothing too weird. Nothing too weird about this at all. Has the expansion. Oh no, he's not rallying his workers. Is this Diamond? It showed Diamond on the loading screen. I don't know. This is impossible. There we go. Getting to work. <laughs> he had like five SCVs queued up. He didn't. How did you not. How didn't set his rally? Okay, it is a Banshee. It is a Banshee coming out of that starport for Angry Midget. So maybe it's just kind of like a weird bio Banshee combination play with that Cyclone mixed in as well. So kind of a Sky Terran mech bio build. We've seen certain, I don't know, we've seen things like this before, right? Just kind of weird combinations. Not all bio, not all mech, but mixtures of both. It's kind of fun. 
Kind of fun to see here. Tank on the high ground to deal with anything coming up this ramp and walking on over this way. Good positioning of that tank. Tank Marine. The Tonk. Good positioning of the Tonk. Yes. Yes, this is what I think as well. And some Marines. Marine count is at seven. How come his Marines are different from his Marines? Did he buy the skin? Do you have to buy? I am so confused right now. I need to look. I hate... Okay, I'm going to be... Here is a confession from Falcon Paladin. I hate DLC. I hate purchasable content after you've already bought a game. I really hate the idea of purchasing an additional hero in co-op co -op for StarCraft 2. Uh, co-op missions, I hate the idea of purchasing skins in Hearthstone. I was, I won't do it. I bought the game, and that is, I'm done with it at that point. You do not get any money from me, period. End of discussion. You can get money from other people. Not going to do it on my account. Raven, Raven. Both players getting Ravens right now. Tanks in production for Angry Midget. Continuing those up. Third base on the way for Angry Midget. Scouting the presence of a third base for his red opponent. Banshee trying to murder stuff back here at the natural base. And getting some damage done. Two kills there. No, 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 no. I mean, all right. Banshee could have escaped. At least down here, if nothing else. Or up there. There were places the Banshee could have gone to not die. But instead decided to stick it in. Stick in there. Hang out until death. Death arrived at for her. Factory for Angry Midget making tanks as well. He's got a couple tanks and some marines, so it's a little weird. He's not taking these two refineries, or these two uh, geysers, at his natural base, interestingly enough. But anyway, Liberator's on the way for the Angry Midget. Is Midget an offensive term? I read this big Reddit thread about it a couple weeks ago, and it's like, well, I don't know, sometimes it is, and sometimes little person is fine, and sometimes other terms are okay. It's just like, I don't know, I don't know how to not be offensive anymore. There are too many rules, and they change all the time. I'm, I sound like an old person. I don't know how you young people do things anymore. Back in my day, I could say whatever I wanted, and that's not true. There are definitely, definitely offensive words when I was young, for sure. Smoking and moving out with a medevac filled with eight marines. Boop. Let's get that on the follow. Sneaking on up, not boosting, just taking its a leisurely time. Heading up to the blue side of the map to do some murdering. Planetary Fortress on the way here at the third base. If that finishes, that will help immensely with this drop. I don't know if there's enough time, though, as the boost it does come in for our medevac pilot. She's flying in. She's going to try to land. Oh, she's landing just outside. This might give... This might give some time... For Angry Midget to be ready? I don't know. I don't know if that's the case. I mean, if they sit here forever, then yes. Okay, they're moving. They're moving, though. Moving up. PF is so close to being done. But there is a tank. That's useful. And tank fire! Woo! Marines taking shot. One shot to the face. Besides the back on out. I think they killed an SCV there. But not most, not very effective. Look at them running all the way home. <laughs> that was scary. I got blasted by a tank. You know what? If I were them, I'd run, too. You're walking up. I'm going to pick off some SCVs at this base. La, 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 la. From no... You can't even see it, right? From nowhere. A tank murders your best friend next to you you're bleeding your arms like almost ripped off i'd run i'd run at that point i'm not gonna lie fusion core fusion core coming up for angry midget maybe my dream of battle cruiser will come true only one worker on each of these refineries though a lot of missile turrets however really does not want to get dropped to the natural base at all and double starboard with tech lab where nothing else is happening right now so we're not seeing liberator productions this fusion core i think we're gonna see bc's I think BCs are the new toast of the town in this latest patch of StarCraft 2. Woof, Raven almost gets killed by a missile turret down here at the natural base of Smokinum. But does manage to escape before death befalls him. Raven pilots sound like robots, don't they? Mule comes down to repair it up. I don't think that's actually a person in there. Let's take a look. I think a person can fit in there. I mean, it's pretty big, right? It's pretty big. If that's a mule and a person's in there, is a person in there or are these robots actually? These are robots. Yeah, I'm going to say that's a robot. Ravens are robots. Whoa, look at that. Yep, yep, no person in there. So when Ravens die, we don't have to feel sad. It's just like losing a drone. That's it. Battle cruiser operational. Well, not operational, but battle cruiser in construction. Doesn't sound as cool. Does not sound as cool to say battle cruiser in construction, that's for sure. All right, so here we go. Battle cruiser is here. Uh, getting any upgrades at all for things? Fusion core getting upgraded. The only upgrade available these days is the weapon refit. Which gives the Battle Cruiser the Yamato Cannon, which I am a fan of. Yamato Cannon hits hard, you guys. 200 damage per shot. <laughs> Single target. Really good against things like, for example, Thors. Actually, doesn't one-shot a Thor. Does one-shot a Siege Tank, though. Could be useful in upcoming battles. But for some reason, doesn't want to spend the 150, 150 to get it. Come on, it's not that expensive. You have enough money for it? Look, plenty of money. Actually, 3,700 3, minerals. Well, down to 29. 
Yeah, enough. You have Apple, Apple, triple pumping those battle cruisers. Now the question is, does Team Red know anything about this? <laughs> nope, Team Red has no idea. No idea there are battle cruisers, no idea the fusion core, no idea of the additional starports. Expects traditional stuff. You know what's good against battle cruisers though? Marines. Marines are so good against battle cruisers. They're good against everything in the sky though. A little attempted. Auto turret drop back here does do some stuff, I suppose. Uh, what, 13 SCVs have been lost for our red team right now. That's kind of a combination of Banshee attacks and other stuff. Raven running. Is the Raven too slow? 3.85 move speed. Viking, 3.85 move speed. Okay, same move speed. So they can't catch the Raven unless he stops flying. And actually, the pursuers turned around and went home. So Thor on the way for smoking them. What I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by that auto turret harass is that Marines are good against everything in the sky. I can't think of anything they're bad against. I guess Corruptors, they're not super good against Corruptors, but they're great against Broodlords, against Carriers, against Tempest, against <laughs> Vikings, against Battlecruiser, which is what we're looking at here today. So the BCs, I mean, fine against tanks, obviously going to be okay against the Vikings, depending on the micro of the Vikings. If Smokinum's micro is on point, then the Battlecruisers are dead just to these alone, right? Because their range is 9. Yeah, range of 9. Battlecruiser range happens to be 6, which not, as you'll notice, is not 9 at all. There's the weapon refit on the way. Alright. So BCs, you got this thing. I mean, you guys are here to deal with everything. I don't even know what the BCs are useful for now. They're not good against the Vikings. They're not good against the Marines. I guess they're pretty good against the Thors. Although the Thors have this high impact payload ability. That does single air target damage. That's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty gnarly. So, even that, this seems like a pretty good anti battle cruiser composition. This Raven could throw down some point defense drones, too. All right, setting up. Setting up shop is smoking them. Plus three, plus three coming up for our red Terran player, too. Jeez. SCV says, I'm going to expand here. Nope, nope, I'm not going to expand down here. There's a huge army down there. Raven. Checking out what is going on. Getting shot at by the Vikings and the Marines on the ground. Come up here. Come up here and get destroyed by my tanks. That was awesome. That was a great little death animation there. Are there upgrades on the tanks now? Or are there just no, no upgrades? Just two of them. Just two of them enough to shot destroy those Marines. Double expanding is smoking them. Expanding at the gold base on his side of the map. And up into the left here for a fourth. So fourth there. Fifth at the gold. Looking very healthy is Mr. Red Terran player. How can he do this? What can he do? Angry Midget throwing up a command center. Doesn't know where to put it. The gold base looks pretty safe. There's nothing over there from Red. If you want to expand there, it's just hard to defend. It's kind of far away. There's this chasm here. But I guess if you have a flying army, defending it's not too bad. Not too bad. Any upgrades on these dudes yet? No, just making battle cruisers, not really upgrading them, which I am also not a fan of. You're making a lot of BCs. Give them upgrades. Give them attack upgrades. Whoa, poor SCV. Look at that guy. Just burning. Jeez. Little death skid mark there. That's a lot of violent deaths in this game, you guys. You don't notice when they're huge battles, but on the individual scale, they actually start to have some effect. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, Both players in a bit of an impasse right now. I feel like Team Red can just go for this. Set up the tanks in range of those missile turrets. Establish air dominance with your Vikings, which Team Blue does not seem to have. Has a Liberator, but that's it. And then just kind of slowly siege this third base and take it down. That's what I'm feeling. That is what I'm feeling from Team Red. But don't fly over the Marines. All right. We kind of accidentally engaged there. Everybody's on fire for Team Red, but now pulling back. Losing a Viking. I think losing a couple Marines there, too. Maybe we're going to try to drop inside the main. It's pretty well defended, I guess, at the third base with the main. Not as much. But look at this. Surprise. There are there are like 12 battle cruisers here. Oh, snap. This drop is not going to go well. Marines. Okay. When I said Marines are good against battle cruisers, what I meant by that was not when there are 12... Marines and 12 battle cruisers. That is not what I was talking about. Not even the tiniest bit. Here comes the attack at the third base, though. Tanks on the ground. Thor's on the ground. Vikings in the air. Trying to kill what they can. Battle cruisers trying to clean this thing up. The planetary fortress does explode. Good pickoff there. Yamato cannon on the Thors. Woo! Those Thors evaporated. Tanks getting destroyed at the same time. Losing his third base and tactical warp. Tactical warp use of the third base of smoking them. Whoa! They're here! Hey! Hey, guys! Where were you heading off to? Oh, the Marines running for their lives. We're coming back to the third base where I thought it was safe. Nope. That is not the case. A lot of dead stuff. A lot of dead SCVs coming all the way back home. These Marines... Is that even enough Marines to do this? I don't know. A lot of barracks are going to die, though. A lot of Marines coming out of these barracks are getting absolutely burned alive from the sky. Fire in the sky, you guys. Fire in the sky. Plus three, plus three Marines, though. Maybe they can do this. Some Vikings coming in here as well. Might be time to bail. Oh, they can't. 
They can't. The cooldown is not there. Battlecruisers are starting to fall with the Vikings in the air and the Marines on the ground. Tactical warp from additional reinforcements on top of the Vikings. Yamato cannoning the Vikings. Ba ba ba. There we go. Viking count now down to zero. Is that true? Viking count down to zero for our team red here. Battlecruisers pushing on in versus these Marines. Mules being thrown down from Angry Midget to repair these BCs. Try to keep them from dying. Viking Missile Turret doing tons of damage. Marines getting shots off, but absolutely ending up in flames at the end of it here. Battlecruiser chasing a Viking over these Missile Turrets. Don't do that. Don't do that. These repairs are going slowly, but they are greatly appreciated by these Battlecruiser pilots. Do you have a Yamato Cannon at all? You do. Just Yamato it. You have a Yamato Cannon on this BC. Just take it down. Take it down. Marines still coming through. A little bit scattered are the Battlecruiser forces. Another BC falls! Another BC falls. Marines are sacrificing their lives and make this thing happen. Tactical warp about four inches. There from Angry Midget. Fun animation there for sure. Yamato cannon on a on a Viking they were already killing. Not good micro here from Smoking Um. Smoking Um, no. Vikings are gone still. Repairing are these mules. You got it. Yes, you have to take down these starports, man. The starports are causing you trouble. Get this one's building a Viking. I think Viking might just come out and die, though. Hey, guys, what up? Explosions, fireworks, Marines stimming themselves away. Standing and fighting, though. These are brave Marines, you guys. These Marines are not running away when things get tough. That's for sure. And, I, I mean, I'm not sure it's making that much of a difference, but I'm sure their sacrifice is appreciated by the Emperor, whoever it happens to be right now, whether, whether it is Mengsk or Valerian. And, actually, that fifth base is still up and running for smoking them, as is the fourth base. So, I mean, the battle cruisers are laying waste to production facilities. But Smokinum has a lot of stuff here. Production tab is basically just Marines. I mean, at this point, I would just go huge Viking force. Huge Viking force and take these guys down. That's what's causing you the trouble. Double expanding his angry midget at that gold base and just at the one at the south of his third here. BC is trying to find places in which to attack. Here's a base you can shut down. This fifth or this fourth base has absolutely no anti-air defense whatsoever. Did he see that? He didn't. He saw a missile turret being constructed. That's got to tell him something. Natural base is going to explode. There it goes. Pieces of it flying into the air. I mean, at this point, you choose. Do you go for the main or do you go for expansions? And right now, it looks like he's going for the main. So trying to take down some of the barracks that are left over here. Marines coming. I would just stop building from this main base if I was smoking them. There's no way you're getting out of here alive, dudes. Unless... I mean, there's a Thor on the way here. There is... Oh, that factory might die before the Thor is built. And look at that. It is. Wow. Plus one making a big difference. For these BCs and their DPS. Single tank setting up at the gold expansion by Angry Midget. Shutting that down. Hardcore. Look at that. Very brave tank for sure. Oh, tactical warp use. Guess what? Surprise! Battlecruiser in your neighborhood. Oh, this ability is so cool. So, so cool. I like it very, very much indeed. Another Viking trying to be produced here out of the starport. And it will get out. It does. Starport explodes behind it like in the movies. We made it out. Killing all the supply depots seems like a pretty good idea as well. Supply blocking your opponent is always a nice deal. And here it is. Two BCs versus the gold base of smoking them. Do not fly over. All right. Battlecruiser does manage to take down the missile turret with your motto cannon. But his friend decided to fly over it for reasons under mis not really understood. All right. Gathering his forces is smoking him. He's got two Vikings. He's got a handful of Marines. Well, he has a whole page of Marines. And a couple Thors with plus two attack as well. Are they in high impact payload? Do high impact payload. Mm. Anyway, gold base for smoking them is dead. These SCBs aren't even running. They know. They know what their fate is. And by that, I mean some of, one of them actually escaped. Oh, wait. Yamato cannon. Oh, on the missile turret. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Refinery gone as well. All right. So our red team, not looking good. Has a fairly good ground force here. He's moving up. Is he going to base race? No, he's going to defend. He is going to defend. That is his decision. The decision for Angry Midget is, do you... I mean, I feel like taking out all these supply depots would hurt smoking him immensely. Immensely. Force him to spend a lot of time building supply depots with money he doesn't have. They're both basically opposite. Very mineral starved as smoking him has 4,000 gas in the bank. Midget, 5,000 minerals in the bank and 400 gas sitting there. So just, uh, if the powers combine, they've got a pretty good bank sitting there. All right, Battle Cruisers, you're going to end this. Small force here from smoking them. Hey, there it is. High impact payload. Yay. Not explosive. High impact. There you go. How much damage is that one? 60 damage per shot per air. Weapon speed 2.14. I mean, it's not it's not wonderful. But I guess it's better. Better than what you use against Mutalisks. That's for sure. All right. So battle cruisers decide to leave Team Red alone for now. 
Leave him alone for now. Pumping out them fours is smoking them. Planetary forces with one kill here. And here we go. An attack on the, the natural base once again. With Marines, with Thors. Surprise defense. Rah, battle cruisers are here. One of them does fall very quickly. These Marines don't have any medevac support, which is a huge problem for them. Can they kill any more battle cruisers before they all die? Nope. That is it. And a good game. Good game out of smoking them, smoking them. Is defeated. And Angry Midget is victorious today in this edition of Mid-Rank Madness. Woo! That was, that was action-packed. Kind of a slow lead-up. Not a whole lot happened in the first couple of minutes there. But the payoff. There was definitely payoff. Battlecruisers making it work. Making it work in TVT at the diamond level. What do we got here? Uh, Battlecruisers 11. Battlecruisers died. 212 Marines. I, I think most of those to BCs. That is a lot of Marine deaths per BC. Let's take a look here. 30 kills on this one. 24. 28, 9, 9, okay, maybe not, like, 4, okay, some of these aren't that big, but man, 24, 28, and 30 kills on those three battle cruisers, big deal, big deal, in fact, so just gorgeous stuff here, Thor's, I think, might have been the right answer, but again, it's going to be Vikings, like, pro tip for you guys out there who are seeing battle cruisers in TVT, Vikings are so good, they have extra damage versus flying armored stuff, which is what battle cruisers are, they have three extra range, you can kite them all day long, even if they try to tactical warp on you, you can see it coming and get out of range by the time it finishes. So try that next time, and better luck in your future endeavors against BCs. All right, so that's going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another weekly edition of Mid-Rank Madness. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.